That is a big spider. Almost walked into it. Not quite. Welcome to another corn adventure. I'm in a, another one of the plot fields this year. I'm wearing this goofy hat because uh, if I get this pollen from the corn in my eyes, it makes me have all itchy eyes the rest of the day. So I try to wear this little cool hat that kind of keeps it out of my eyes. Anyways, we're in the plot. Um, it's a smaller plot. I only got a few varieties in here. It was planted really late, so I didn't go too long. And I'll show you some of them. So I'm in the middle of the cornfield right now in a, in a variety called 7861. You can't tell it on camera, but this corn is tall. I, in, my, in the day, back in the day, I could used to, I used to be able to dunk a ball barely. This is way over 10 feet tall. Um, and this was planted late, mind you. I'm talking late. Um, and what I'm seeing here, I haven't pulled any of the ears yet, but I am seeing uh, some craziness here. This one's got, it's working on three ears. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you this. We got one, two, and there's another one down here. And what that could tell you is that there's a, I don't know, the agronomist folks could probably correct me, but a few of these have three years. They're starting 30 years. Um, that could tell you that the population's not quite, it could have been higher um, on this variety. Could It might be a, a note to next year to plant this variety at a higher population because it can handle it. Uh, just a note I see before I pull any ears. This plant is a tall, good looking plant. Look at the, this is look at the ears of the P7861. Um, like I said, this plant had three ears on it. There's a lot of perception of corn plants that can produce three ears, but most of them are false. A lot of people think well, that's the best one that can produce three ears. Usually it means the population could have been higher. Um, cause all these two little ears do is rob from the big one. That's going to produce your most, most all your starch. Cause these ones are so far behind developmental. They won't ever get to this. They won't get mature enough to produce starch. So what they're doing is robbing from, from uh, the main the main ear, which is a good note for next year. We'll know to plant 7861 at just a higher population. I bet you this thing would just be even a bigger ear yet. Um, that's what it looks like. Looks good. Like you can tell it's a full ear. It's not tipped off. It's got, it's it's full. It's, you know, it's, it's a little, it's a 78 day corn. So, we got some time to go yet before this is developed mature. So if you can't see it on the stick, this one is 7455R. Um, it's hard to tell with the camera, but this is definitely a foot shorter than 7861. Um, nothing wrong with that. It is a shorter season corn by four days. Um, anyways, it, everything else looks good, but it is noticeably shorter than 7861. I found the corn I've been really curious about it's the new variety of the P6909. Um, it's hard to find some of these varieties in the field when the sticks are hard to find, but I did find it. It's looking good. Let you see it here. And there she is. Uh, look, everything looks good, plant looks good. It is noticeably shorter than even the last one, 7455, maybe by about, it's actually probably the same height as 7455. If I look further down there, you can see how the height rises, if you can notice that. So when I check in here, I walk pretty, pretty deep into the field, just because you get a, it's better in the in, in, you get a better feel for what the ear is actually throughout the field if you walk in a little ways. And I always go over one or two rows. So P6909 is looking good at every field I looked at it. This field is no different. Um, it's definitely further along than the 72 day and the 74 day and the 78 day. Um, it's a good looking ear. You notice there's tip back on it, which that means that it didn't develop kernels on the tip. So 34,000 population is probably just right for this variety. Um, we'll compare it here. Again, this is 6909, this is 7455, and then this one's 7861. And uh, they're definitely right with each other where they need to be developmental wise for the, the age of, or the day length of the corn. Um, liking what I'm seeing so far out of this guy, all of them really. I really would be excited to see this one at a higher population. Let's go look at the next one. I think I got two more varieties in this. 
So I've been getting some questions with a new short day variety corn from Pioneer. The, the old staple used to be P7213. This is the first year it's not produced. It used to be everyone's favorite around here for short season corn. And some people were like, well, I wish I could just get 7213 back because it, it seemed to work for everything. And I haven't really compared it with anything this year because, well, we couldn't get it this year. So there's no, there's no way to compare it. But this, uh, this certain farmer had some extra 7213 from me a year ago. And he planted that in this field around this plot. So I do have a direct comparison in this field what 7213 looks like compared to like the new 6909 and um, like 7227. It's pretty cool. It's a difference. I'll show you right now. So this right here is the new 6909. Um, it's shorter season than this one. This is the old 7213. Um, no longer in production. But ear wise, they're about the same length. Um, I can honestly identical. Uh, but this one is fatter. It's got more ears, more kernels around. I can guarantee it. I won't split them open yet. I want to compare it yet to 72 to 27. But this is just a skinny guy. It, that's what 7213 norm. It was kind of a skinnier ear, but it it developed quick. It was reliable. The new stuff coming out is just better. Um, a little fatter. Gonna have deeper kernels. We'll take a look at it here in a second. We'll split them all open. So I just found another variety. It's P7907. It's a new one from Pioneer. It's kind of in line with the 7861. It's just a couple, it looks like a couple days, a couple days behind. There they are compared to each other. Um, just a little bit shorter. It's going to get bigger, of course, but it is behind developmentally, behind the 7861. And that's the 7455 and 7909 and the old one that's no longer available 7213 so this is the longest corn in this uh, plot it's an 8034 variety um and it's to be expected it's a little bit behind everything else but it's a bigger ear it's going to be a bigger ear you can see it compared to the rest it's bigger so this is 8034 this is um jeepers i'm trying to remember them all 7907 7861 and 7455 and this right here is the been the popular one the past couple years it is the replacement for 7213 it is 7227 is this variety and it looks like it does in every other field i do note that it is tipping it's like it's filling out pretty good it could have probably done a little higher population to my estimation um let's now compare this to what it replaced 7213 the one that's not no longer available and believe it or not, they're about the same length, but 7227 is fatter. It's just a better looking ear. It's not as skinny as 7213. Um, and it, it's almost the same, you know, you can hardly tell the difference maturity wise. Um, so you're getting a better product with the new stuff from Pioneer uh, than the old. The old was good too, but, um, and then compare 7227, I'm getting attacked by a bee here. Woo. Got stung earlier last week. And um, then compare 7227 with 6909. And there's definite dif difference in maturities right now, but um, this one's still just a fatter ear than this one. But this is this 79 or 6909. It's hard to get all these numbers straight. Looks really good. And that's all from this plot. So again to recap it, let's see if I can remember them all. P8034R. P7907, P7861, and P7455, P7227, kind of the most popular one around this area. And then the newest one, and not even next year will be his first year for sale, is P6909, the shortest season corn in the world right now. And this is the old one that is no longer available, that's P7213. Good look at them all. Um, this, this was planted in June 5th, I believe. So it's a later planting. So I told you I'd split these open. I'm doing it in my truck, so it's a lot cooler in here. Um, so on the, on this one is 6909, the new variety. And then this one is the old 7213. So 6909 is definitely rounder. It's got more kernels. You can definitely see that. Um, cobs about the same size, believe it or not. It's a little hard to see that, but they are. Um, now let's compare 7213 to 7227. So here we go. This one right here is 7227. 
and this one again is 7213. You can see the 7227, they're about split in the same spot. Um, 7227 is definitely a more rounder, more fuller ear. Um, they only make new products because they're better. Well, it's hot and I have to wear a long sleeve, otherwise my arms itch. So I'm pretty hot right now and I'm ready to go back to the office. Thanks for watching uh, this uh, tour of this corn plot. Um, stay tuned for more and stay tuned for the announcement of our field day. It's coming up. We just haven't set a date yet. Thanks for watching. See you again. <music>